Hi there, I'm here to demonstrate how to use Ever Studio. It is a software developed by Ever Media and it comes with this Ever Capture M. It is a video capture device developed for Mac users to preserve their home videos. Ever Studio is one of the most user friendly software that allows you to preserve home videos the way you like it. It is so intuitive that you can finish everything within only a few steps. First, you have to decide which video input you want to use. There is a connection diagram. Follow the instruction if you are not sure how to connect those cables. Now I am connecting my Xbox with my composite cable. Yeah, now I see my Xbox. This is where I can set my recordings like changing the aspect ratio. Adjusting the brightness. I can also decide how long I want to record or put in number as I like it. Now I decide to go with one minute. And you see this big red button here? Click it to start my recording. If you need a full screen preview, just double click on the preview window. And click again to go back. On the right side of the recording button, you see how long I've been recording. And you've probably noticed that all the settings are disabled whenever Studio is recording. So, do make sure you've got all the settings down before you start capturing the video. To stop recording, you just have to click on the red button again. But I don't need to because I've set a timer. Now time's up, and I've got the video clip. In this step, I'm going to trim the video to preserve the best part. So I drag the green bar to define what I want to keep. Cut the video with the scissors, and play back to see if I like it. If I don't, I can simply undo it. Now I continue editing the video. Sometimes you might want to start over. In this case, click on this button to undo all the previous actions. So now I'm happy with the video and I'm ready to export the file. The best thing about Ever Studio is that I can easily export the video to Lee format of my Apple devices and to the social networks so that I can share with my friends. Now I'm trying to upload the video to YouTube. Click upload. And just like what I usually do on the website, I have to log in with my YouTube account. Here you can put the title or descriptions. Following the same steps, I can upload this video to my Facebook. Put the title here. Here we go. We'll go to YouTube and Facebook later to check the videos. This is what I've just uploaded. It looks great. Now this is my Facebook. This is it. Sometimes I want to watch my video clips on iPad. So now I'm going to export this video to iTunes in the format of iPad so that later I can sync the video to my device. Now it's done. Let's check the video. I hope you enjoy this video and love Ever Studio as much as I do.